Hello, this is Boder, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about making a really cheap anamorphic lens flare for, well, basically free. If you have Adobe After Effects, this is something that you can use with all of the basic plugins that are available and have been since really early versions. Uh, you won't need to use something really expensive uh, to get a, a decent looking anamorphic lens flare. Uh, anamorphic flares are these big blue things that you'll often see used in movies, overused by many people saying in like Transformers, Star Trek. Uh, used sparingly, they can really uh, help to add something to your movie though. Uh, they're especially useful in some sorts of uh, special effects, which is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, the flare that I'm going to help you create is uh, going to be something that's meant for maybe a 5 frame special effect. It's not going to have the sort of definition that one of these would but uh, it's still going to be it's passable, certainly, for a really quick effect. All right, so let's open up After Effects here. I've already brought in my uh, footage and made it, put it into a composition. But uh, what we need to do is to create a uh, new composition. And this is going to be just for the flare itself. Uh, if I can spell right. Uh, we're going to make it wider than it is tall, so let's go by 2000 by 500 for right now. And then just click OK. Now what you're going to do, you're going to make a new solid layer, and this solid is going to be a black solid. Make sure it's the composition size, click OK. An anamorphic lens flare is something different from the usual lens flare that you can create, but we're actually going to make the anamorphic one with the standard uh, dreaded lens flare plugin. I say dreaded because it's something that uh, once you've seen it, once you've uh, used it, it's fairly ob obvious what it is. But we're going to go ahead and put in lens flare. This is something that uh, anyone who's worked in effects ever recognizes right off the bat as the standard Photoshop or After Effects lens flare. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit to differentiate this and a little bit to work on it. The first thing we're going to do is to actually get it color neutral. This way we'll be able to change it to that blue color later on that you saw uh, back over here. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of these artifacts. These can be distracting and genuinely look fake. Uh, so we're going to uh, come over here and just set it to the exact center of our composition. And now no more artifacts. We've got a uh, lens flare here that is nice and bright and bleeds off the edge of our black solid. So we need to fix that now. So what you're going to do is go to Effect and Color Correction and Levels. Now what you're going to do is raise input black until we see that halo shrink to within the black area of our solid until it's not bleeding off anymore. And you can really go with anything you like. I find uh, actually maybe something like this, 90, uh, works. But what works better, uh, in my opinion, is lowering the flare brightness to 75 I found works pretty well and then lowering input black, and to me it just gives it a more natural look. 75 and 35 seem to work pretty well. So now we've got a single flare, but it's not stretched out, it doesn't have uh, this sort of streaking going across the screen, so now we've got to add that. And to do that, all we're going to do is come down to our composition down here and duplicate it twice. Control D and Control D. And we're going to change their size. Let me shift that up a little bit for you. Let's uh, make this first one a little bit shorter and a little bit longer. Uh, not by much, say about twice as wide, half as tall. Uh, didn't see anything happen. Uh, what you have to do is actually make sure that all of your uh, solids need to be visible through each other. And for that you're going to go to Blending Mode, Screen. If you're using an older version of After Effects, you may have to go to Transfer Mode. Blending Mode. Screen. And there we go, now they're all visible through each other. Uh, now we're going to go to our last black solid. And we're also going to do the same sort of thing with this, except this one's going to, of course, be a lot more extreme. 
Uh, the first one sort of gives it a wider look, uh, and this one here is going to give it that streaking. So let's uh, make it 500% width, which is going to bring it to uh, about the width of our composition here, and then we'll shrink it down. 10, 15%, something right around there. So now we've got our basic flare. Uh, and now what we need to do is, uh, you see these sort of reddish rings of color around here, they sort of intersect weirdly there. Uh, we need to get rid of those and we need to turn this blue. So what we're going to do is to make a new composition. Uh, we'll just call this flare color. And into flare color, we're going to bring flare. Just pop it right in the center there. And then we're going to add effect, color correction, and color balance. And here we're just going to add that basic blue color. You can really use whatever colors you like. Uh, and then we still have the sort of red around here. It's almost too bright, too in your face. So click preserve luminosity. And that actually gives it a pretty good look, but we've still got a little bit of this, these lines around here. Still could use a little bit of smoothing out, uh, especially if you look and you can sort of see where the edges of each brightness level ends. So in order to do that, we're going to go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Median. You can also use a Gaussian Blur for this, uh, but it's a matter of personal preference. They'll both give about the same effect. Uh, what Median does is that it smooths things together, sort of within the shape that's already there. I mean, obviously you can't have it too high, uh, or, you know, we're going to lose some of that horizontal streaking. But, uh, I would say just a little bit on 10, for instance, gives it a pretty good look. We still got a little bit of that around there, you know, we could raise it, say, 15. Not too much more, otherwise we're losing how much uh, horizontal uh, streaking we're getting. I don't know if there's a technical term for it, but I'm going to call it that. Uh, now all we have left to do is to take this and just bring it back into our main composition with me being silly with a plastic gun. Bring in flare color and switch its blending mode or transfer mode if you're using an older version to screen. Or actually I found that add works even better. It gives it some of this blue spill around here that suggests that it's bright and casting light onto whatever. Uh, and that's that's really the basis of the effect. You can change it a little more. Uh, for instance, on this picture, I would actually uh, increase the size of everything so the blue ran off the edge. Uh, and you notice it's really blown out in the middle. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Uh, we're going to go back to the flare composition and take all of these and lower them even more lower the brightness. Uh, I'm going to turn off the other two solids until we get something that works. Lower the brightness uh, and then bring the input black back down. Uh, sort of to give it less of that solid white core in the middle. And then just copy those effects onto the other two layers. And we can see that wasn't quite right. We can still see sort of the edge around there. So, I mean, you can sit here and keep playing around with it until you reach something that is more to your liking. That's strange. That's still got that uh, little bit there. Uh, but, you know, play around with it and, uh, you know, come back into your composition and see how it's looking. So there you go, that's the basis of your effect. Uh, since I showed you everything, you're, you'll be able to tweak your effect uh, to your liking. Uh, you'll notice that uh, when I look at the darker version here, you can see that this definitely uh, looks better here than it does over here. Uh, so if you're thinking of using this ahead of time, plan ahead, uh, a darker scene just looks flashier with it. Uh, but, you know, play around with it. And I hope you learned something here. Uh, you know, go out there, have fun, make uh, whatever effect you want, and good luck.